Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click the button like if you like this video. Let me start what I am going to teach you today. So today I am going to discuss a simple way to form or to format a given report or given word document as a VTU report. So this is basically for VTU and uh, they have given us a list of instructions these are the list of instruction so these instructions are a4 size paper uh, with margins so and so accordingly i'll be uh, designing the report now so coming back to the word document so select the word document which you want <clears throat> format so select all go for the font Times New Roman. So always Times New Roman. This is the no, normal font. And the size is 12. Okay. And select all and click on this button justification in the paragraph. So in the paragraph, you are having by this one justification. Click on this. Or you can use Ctrl J on the keyboard. Now coming back to the layout. Uh, you need to select the size of the paper as A4. Yes, it is selected and margins should be customized. So if it is in centimeters, please change it to inches. So if not, you can, uh, if you are feasible with the centimeters or, or itself, you can go accordingly. So top should be 0.75, bottom should be 0.75, left is 1.25. A right is one and just click on the OK button. So now it is done. In the next step, you can see there is a lot of gap between each word. So this is because you are having a different font or different format here. So to know what is that, go to paragraph, click on this symbol button. Okay, so paragraph marks. So it will show the different paragraph markings here. Now, remove this. These uh, arrow marks show us the tab. See, when I click on the tab, you will get these arrow marks. So, I don't want this arrow marks. Instead, I need a space. So, back space. Again, back space. Back space. Any such things? No. And I don't need this extra enters. See? So, when I remove this paragraph marks, these marks are just for our reference. So, you don't get that printed on your paper. So, just you can see here, there is a gap. So, delete that gaps. I don't need such gaps. Delete, delete. And here we go. This is a single paragraph. And delete, 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 delete. Okay, and you have another chapter here, delete, delete, so I have copy and pasted the same thing again, delete, done. So once it is done, save the things, now go back, select all, go to paragraph, click on this bottom right corner to get this paragraph settings in this left right let it be zero special if you want to tab for the very first line select first line and 0.5 if not no need so let me go for none before i'll take it as six point after also six point uncheck if this option is checked so don't add space. I want to add space. So uncheck that. And line spacing shall be or should be 1.5 and enter. So this is the standard format. <clears throat> now, this is the starting of the chapter. So I should start with chapter name, chapter 2. And the chapter name, I'll call it as introduction. So accordingly, you can name it. Now, this introduction and the chapter name. Chapter name should be always left aligned whereas introduction 
it can be either center align or right aligned so how to do that you have this option so this is left align center align right align i want this to be center align or right align i'll go for the center one it looks a little more uh, good so i'll go with this option again i have a large space come back and give a small space select all these or uh, select the first chapter and give the size as 16 take the size as 16 and bold introduction so the chapter name or this chapter should be 16 introduction should be 18 with bold and this is your first subheading so this subheading it should be 14 and bold now so you can see this is only uh, like uh, this is not all caps instead it is in sentence case so i want the same thing here as well so go to <clears throat> home here you can select sentence case or i want this to be alpha the i should be capitalized that you can do by selecting this and click shift f3 it is done now save it so coming to this subheading, so let me assume this is 2.2.1. So how to format this 2.2.1? So select all or sorry, select this one and let the font size be 12. And here it is done. Bolded, that is done. Okay, so now the second subheading is Done. so like this you have to do the format for each heading and subheading now coming back here you can see here you can see you are having chapter 3 so normally what we'll do if you want this chapter 3 in the next page you will just click on this enter so if this is not the correct way because if you alter anything say suppose you are adding a uh, three more lines here like this you are adding three more lines if that is the case you can see this has been moved so what i should do here when you are having this chapter three here just click on control and uh, press enter okay click on control and enter it will go to the next page so if I go back and look what paragraph marks I'm having, I'm having this page break. So page break helps the chapter to move to the next line. And you can see if you vary anything here, so this will not get affected. Now this is the correct procedure. Now coming back, follow the same thing. So you have Times New Roman, increase the font, bold. Chapter name should be center aligned, control E and increase the font to 18. Here you go and save the file. Now it is done. Now coming to the next step which is header and footer. So double click on the header part or the footer part like this. You will get this header footer. Once you click on this you can see header footer tab has been opened. So let me start with the header. In the header, you have different options here. You can either select them or you have you can go according to your interest. I'll go with inserting the shapes. So I'll go to insert, there go to shapes, select a line and draw this line in between these two points. So once I draw that line, I have I can change the property of the line. So how can I do that? So you have shape format automatically opened once you draw the object. So go to shape outline, change the width to 3 and go to outline, select a more outline, sorry, change the outline, go to dashes or go to, yeah, go to dashes and select more line there 
take the compound type any one so whichever you want and uh, let me choose a standard color or a pleasant color whichever we like so like this you can change it so let me take a standard one this is done and close it so you have this ready now i need to type the title here i need to type the title so title of my project fine and uh, this is done by select all i need to change the font time and i'll select it 11 or if the title of my project is uh, literally big say oops sorry if the title of the project is big so like this if it is a literally big one select all and reduce the size so minimum of 10.5 to 11 you can choose so revert it back yes it is done now at the next step i need to add the footer so for the footer just click on this and uh, go to header footer insert the page number first you insert the page number here i need at the bottom so let me take this third option plain one i got this extra go back done so here i'll type page colon and before this page i'll type department of ace comma r l j i t and use a tab so here i am using instead of space i'll use a single tab and here i'll type 2023 24 and a tab so your footer is done select all go back times new roman and at 11 as usual you can select it now coming back i need the same line in the bottom so click on this and we control v use the arrow key to place it above and adjust it so one more trick select double click on this line you get this shape format so make sure it is zero so if it is not 0, 0 0.2 or something you can see it will be obviously tilted so make it zero and the width let it be six inch so it gives you a perfect fit here also i'll make it six done so header footers are done next i'll show you suppose if you have an equation how to type the equation so suppose uh, i have a is equal to b plus c either you can go with this normal typing or you can go to insert and go with the equation here you will get a lot of mathematical things like mathematical equations which you can type now i have this a equal to b plus c d now all the equation should be right aligned so this is how you type it so right align here you are having so right alignment so not the left one it should be right aligned and give a tab so come out of this equation give a tab take right and type equation so in which chapter we are writing the equation third chapter so this is 3.1 suppose you have another equation in the same chapter say you are having another equation in the same chapter so this will be 3.2 so complete equations will be 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 within this chapter 3 if you are changing the chapter it will be 4.1 4.2 etc and suppose we are inserting any figures so let me insert a figure insert mm, i'll insert a picture here picture from this device okay so
I have a logo here. Let me insert the logo. Fine. So this is too huge. Double click on this. You will get picture format. Let me reduce to 3 inch or 2 inch. That is sufficient I guess. Yes, 3 inch is sufficient. And maximize it. Now control, hold on it. Just click on this. And use this option control E. Okay, so now it has been center line. Go to the next line, type figure. So, in which chapter we are inserting again in 3, so 3.1, and write the description. Fine, so you can adjust the size based on the requirement. And uh, always this should be center aligned and even the image or the figure, it should be center aligned, not left or right alignment. And the last thing I need to mention is regarding the reference. So when we write the reference, as I told you, you should use control enter for the next chapter. So here. This is the reference. Normally, we don't need a reference to have header or the footer. Okay. So, for that, we have a small trick. So, what we need to do is turn on this one paragraph mark and go back to the last page break and take your reference back to the previous chapter. Here, just click on this and go to layout, take break and go to next break. So this makes a section here. So the above is the one section, below is the another section. Now in this, what we need to do is double click on the header. You can see a header footer tab is newly opened and you can see there is an option enabled which is linked to previous. Now I'll disable this option. Now this, you do the same thing by placing your cursor in the reference page and that too in the footer and remove the link to previous. So now your section of reference is free from the previous one. So select all. Just click on the header. Go back. Click on the header of your reference. Select all. Delete. Come down. Select all. Delete in your footer. So now I have removed the header and footer for your reference section. This is another thing. And suppose you, I showed you an equation. I showed you image. Suppose what if you have a table in your chapter. Then go to insert. You have some table. For the table, the thing is you need to do the same thing. Like even the table should be center aligned. But the labeling of the table should be from at the top. For the image, it will be at the bottom. For the table, it will be at the top. Okay. So, this is how you add the description for your table. Okay. So, this is about the basic formatting of your Word document as a report. If you like this video, please uh, like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.